Hello everyone, my name is Neha and I head product at Obsidian Security. I'm here to talk to you about third-party SaaS integration risk today. Now SaaS, as we know, is gaining in popularity. Now more than ever, businesses are heavily relying on SaaS applications for their day-to-day -day operations. Now SaaS also is inherently pretty interconnected, which means data is constantly flowing between SaaS applications. This poses a huge huge risk for security teams that are responsible for maintaining and securing these SaaS applications. Now let's talk about a recent breach, a very public breach that happened with a very popular CI CD platform which happens to be a SaaS vendor itself. Now in this case, the employee of the CI CD platform, their device was compromised. Now because the device was compromised and the employee had access to production, not only production but also access to generate access tokens within the production environments, they were able to gain access to a SaaS app which happened to be a popular IDP vendor. Now with these SaaS tokens, attacker was actually able to compromise a SaaS app too, which happened to be a developer platform. Now because the attacker was able to get access to SaaS app too, it was also able to get access to their customer repositories. Now interestingly, on that very day, there was another vendor that reported a similar breach. And there's all reasons to believe that, you know, a similar sort of a device, uh, you know, compromise and uh, essentially integration compromise happened there too. Now this you may think is, a you know, not a common problem, but this is actually a pretty common scenario that happens. Device uh, compromise and integration compromise is pretty common. Uh, and without the visibility and the, the tools, uh, the security teams are pretty lost within the SaaS ecosystems. Obsidian can actually provide customers with the visibility into third-party applications. We actually inventory the third-party data and surface risks. We not only do that, we also give security teams the tools uh, and notifications when something like this is detected. Now let's just go back and talk about the example we were talking about. With Obsidian, we had access to target organizations, users, access permissions, and activity data. We could actually have detected that anomalous behavior that happened with you know, the token compromise that happened and the reuse that happened. With Obsidian, like our machine learning models are continuously learning and evaluating some of this activity user behavior to flag those anomalous activities out to these security teams so you can action in real time as and when this happens. If you wanna learn more, visit obsidiansecurity.com slash lightbulbs.